I got that for you. It's right in the, the handbook that we were all issued. If you've got somebody that's hurt, you know, you can trade up. There are people in the dossier room that are healthy, big, strong. Let me, let me just step in real quick. Here's what's going to happen on, on my end of it. We need to wait and see what happens and make a decision from there. If we win, do I stay and hope that I make it tomorrow through the physical competitions? Or do I just gracefully walk away and let the team have an opportunity to trade up? So what do you do? You know, what do you do? I, I personally think we're better off waiting to find out the decision between, between our team and Charlie. That's so we'll wait. That's it. We'll wait. Well, this is it. We're heading into uh, final results of the mission today. We're going in 75 points ahead, and uh, it's going to be close. I'm talking within a minute or two. So uh, keep our fingers crossed. It's time for the mission assessment. Sergeant Major. Charlie, you won the halo casting training exercise with 75 points. So you went into this mission with 1,075 points. You had one man killed. That's a 50 point deduction. It took you 22 minutes. We deducted five points for every minute. Your score is 915. Bravo, you went into this mission with 1,000 points. You had no men killed. It took you 15 minutes to complete the mission. Your score is 925. Bravo, you are the winner. Congratulations, Bravo. Charlie, you know the drill. You got 10 minutes to pack your gear, be back in there. Every book there's chapters I played a part in several chapters of the book and at this point in the book I feel like it's time for me to step away from it they need someone that is healthy and bigger you want to discharge yourself yes sir for injury reasons well, as a competitor it's hard to walk away from anything but you know I feel comfortable with with helping them uh, win four missions dismiss it's tough to see Taylor go after everything he's done here, but I'd rather see him walk out now than on a stretcher later. Jody just felt it was best for the team that something something bizarre may happen and he could get hurt and he didn't want to be the one to uh, let the team down. And it was a big decision on his part and it took a lot of balls. Bravo is going to be able to go into the dossier room and select a new man to replace Jody. We need, we need um, young, bigger, strong. For the benefit of the team and, and as a credit to Jody, he's decided to stand down. He realizes that it would be a hindrance at this point to continue. So it'll give us the opportunity to maybe pick up another member that's got some of the physical characteristics that we need. So Sean Serker. Serker. Agree. He's it. Okay, we're good to go. And he's, he's good looking. Yeah, he's got to be good looking for our team. And I got to say goodbye, and a lot of times you don't get to do that. I'm going to go in and shake everybody's hand personally. Oh, I just opened the shower stalls and shook everybody's hand that were standing there. I got Dex and I got Jeff. Come on in. Dex! Dex! <laughs> At least Jeff covered up. Dex just stepped out and, you know, like, here I am. <laughs> Jeff, that was payback for all your little freaking one-liners. <laughs> Dexter, you ought to go into a new profession <laughs> called porno. <laughs> Bob's like, you open that door, I'm going to kill your ass. I wouldn't do that to you, Bob, because okay. I know you. <laughs> and that was good enough. I was scared to get Bob because I was scared Bob would come and find me and kill me. Well, that's about a kick in the nuts. Yeah, it is. Yep. 
being killed, which equals 50 points, had that not happened, it would have been a different outcome on, on, this, on this mission. Just want to get this over with you. in the discharge room. It's very hard to have to sit down and decide who to vote out. Men, the major's passing out the discharge form. Remember, this is round two, and the man you discharge, you will not get a replacement for him. Your squad will operate with five men. Rather than put my teammates through the drama of having to vote somebody out, I just stepped up and volunteered. It was really a, a, a heartbreaker for me. It was kind of hard to face the fact that uh, I was losing a best friend and not only a teammate, but somebody I have spent a lot of time with in my life. You know, I spoke to Ozzy about my decision today he basically said, no, I'm going to be the one to leave. And I said, no, you're not, because <clears throat> uh, he is the core of the team. If it wasn't for Ozzy, I, I probably wouldn't be competing in this event. We're losing a good teammate, but I still have a good friend. Wong, you're the man. Remain here. You five men, follow me. Charlie, fall yourselves in one rank, facing the front of the building. Being discharged, to me personally, I mean, it's like you're leaving your family. Uh, you create a bond because you depend on each other on a daily basis, uh, competing in the different missions and exercises, and, and it's just like leaving your brothers. Juan. It's been an honor and my pleasure serving with you. I hate to see him go, but I respect his decision and he's going to be sorely missed. Dismissed out the gate. Wilson Wong, LAPD. Salute. Ozzy, uh, being my ex-partner, he's a good friend. We will see each other after this is all done, but it, it was very hard for me to leave uh, tonight. Bravo, fall out, fall in a formation. It was rough saying bye to uh, Jody because, you know, he he was part of the contribution of where we're at right now. And, uh, you know, it's hard to break from somebody when you've been with them for a while and you've been through some things. Mr. Taylor, fall out, report to the commander. I have a Jody's World back in North Carolina, and, uh, I'll miss the 10, I'll tell you. You know, it's a group of individuals that you'll never have an opportunity to be with again in your life. I salute you. Thank you, sir. You're dismissed out that gate. Jody Taylor, North Carolina SWAT. Present on. But no, I am not going to carry my duffel bag on that plane. I'm going to give it to an attendant. If I ever see another rucksack, I will catch it on fire and I will do dancing around it with sagebrush, and I will chant Steve's name and Bob's name and Jeff's name and Sergeant Major Deaver's name, and uh, then I will stomp on it graciously. Circle reporting is ordered, sir. You 
been assigned to Bravo Squad, Paul, in right there. Yes, sir.